All right. Are you ever working in Fusion in DaVinci Resolve and you want to basically add tools to this toolbar that you do use often but are not already in here because the default toolbar doesn't have them? You can add tools. You can actually do that in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But not only can you add tools, you can remove tools, remove a whole group of tools, and you can create multiple toolbars. So basically, all you have to do is hover over a blank space around the toolbar to the right of these buttons and then go to customize and then say create toolbar all right now let's say that this new toolbar is going to be made for blurs and that's it so what's going to happen first is it will be selected the new toolbar that we named blur but it's still going to show the default tools okay so now what you have to do in order to remove stuff is right click over any of these buttons, okay? And then you go to customize, and then you can either remove an individual node or you can remove the group. The 3D animation, for example, I just removed that because I don't really use it much, okay? And then I can also remove these particle nodes these tools that i just don't use and so i'm going to go ahead and remove that group now this group i do use so i'll keep that okay but there's like two or three different nodes in here that i don't use i don't use this one that control but i do use merge and i use transform but i I'm, i want to remove this so i'm going to hover over that right click go to customize remove mat control and then it takes it out of there same thing with this i'm going to also remove the resize so so remove resize. I want to add the blur nodes because that's why I created this toolbar. So to add blur nodes, I go to the effects tab and then I type in blur, it's already typed in. And then I want to add the regular blur right here. Okay, next to the masks and also the depth blur. I'll just add all of them because it's nice to have a variation of blurs. And boom, there you go. I just added a group of blurs just like that. This is dedicated to blurs as well as the other stuff because I do use it on a regular basis. All right, so there I go. I just added a blur toolbar. Now let's say that you do want to get back to the default toolbar because it has the 3D animation nodes as well as the particle nodes and you're learning how to use them well you can go back to it just right click over in that space go to default okay and then it brings you right back to that default toolbar very very quickly you don't have to do anything other than that and you can keep editing it doesn't mess up your editing it just swaps it out now i do use a few of these different nodes the delta keyer chroma keyer depth map so i'm going to add these to a toolbar one that is called map okay then when I'm ready to start using the keyer nodes like I do from time to time I can do that and swap between the matte toolbar and the blur toolbar so there you go it's so so easy you just need to remember to remove groups and or individual ones when you create a new toolbar because when you do create that new toolbar it basically just duplicates the default one but you can remove stuff in, in yada yada all right so I hope you learned something today I hope Hope this will be helpful i'm sure it would be as you probably edit different types of things that require different tools and such and so if you do this can speed up your editing by swapping between toolbars and avoid searching for tools and instead you have it in the toolbar for quick access so you don't like run out of time or waste time it's very nice that you can do this it's a nice organization feature so yes if you enjoy Enjoyed. that's awesome if you learn something that is also awesome if you are confused about anything that i went over then be sure to let me know down in the comments ask me any question that you have don't be shy i read all of my comments and i will answer your question to the best of my ability i promise and uh, if you have any friends or family that are also wanting to learn this software be sure to share this with them so that they can learn this alongside you and uh, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you would like to support me so I can keep on making these video editing tutorials. And uh, without further ado, I will see you all next time.